more setbacks. As you can see here, <clears throat> I have been doing some work with my driveway since the last time we had ice issues. Now we've got water issues. Um, we brought in about 16 to 17 tons of three inch crush and then pit run grout, pit, uh, sorry, uh, crusher run gravel, smaller stuff to kind of settle into this um, three inch stuff so we could have a base to bring my trucks in or bring the trucks in to get some gravel so I can get up in there to start working on the basement again. But this is the issue right here. When the trucks come in here and come around, when the trucks come in here, they actually turn down the road. There's a side road there. They turn and they back up this road because it's a hill. And as they back up the road, you can kind of see the tracks here. This is where the wheels come around in order for them to get swung around on this. It's a very narrow road. It's even though a couple vehicles may be able to pass on it, it's really tight. And so for those big trucks to, to, to cut around here, they have to start putting their back wheel in this area right here to get around into my driveway. Well, the problem is this driveway we built a couple years ago. This is all fill. And you can see there, I don't know, I'll get down here. This is very spongy ground. I mean, I'm, I'm stepping on it here and leaving my footprints. You cannot bring in a 65 or 75 ton or a thousand pound load of gravel and put it up there. You bring in a 22, 23 ton load of gravel plus the weight of the vehicle. And the concern is, is when they back in there that the wheels will drop. And if the wheels will drop, then that's a drop off there of about 15 feet. <sighs> so, we've got an issue. Um, we, of course, we've had pretty much a full week of rain now, off and on. It's supposed to rain the rest of this week. Next week is supposed to be clear. We're supposed to have some uh, sunshine which will allow us to maybe do a little bit of work here but the rest of the time it's supposed to rain again the following week so what we need to do i talked it over with the guy delivering the gravel um, now we had put in some gravel here when it was frozen thinking well that'll allow them to get up around but as soon as we started getting the rain everything become mush again so the thinking is we are going to dig down maybe a foot, sorry, a foot right in around here, take out this triangle, pull back this crush, take out the dirt, I'll probably throw it over in there, uh, cut this down and put in about 10, 12 inches of crush and then crush or run on top of it. So to kind of work it in and pack it. If we start back down here, and like I said, take this triangle. It's about probably 18, 16, 18 feet. Come across here about six feet. And then back down here probably 15, 16 feet. If we take that corner out and fill that full of three inch crush, um, three, number, sorry, number threes, and then put the crusher run in with it and mix it in. Well, the hope is, because you can see there, you come off that drive, you come off that road right there, and it's, I mean, you can sink right out of sight there. And that's the concern of, of my truck drivers. Because even if they come up here higher and start in here to come around, that is soft. And the issue is when you get all that weight coming up this hill, and anybody who drives truck would know this, I'm learning really quickly, but as soon as that tire comes off the pavement that side there and it's kind of sidling here you've got all of that tonnage going on those axles and of course the concern is 
uh, what happens when the weight shifts. Now, when we get up onto the, onto the driveway, it's fairly flat, not an issue, but it's right here on this turn. So after much conversation with the, uh, the guy doing my trucking, um, we decided that, I mean, he's got his high hoe here, his track hoe. Between that and my friend's tractor over there, which we still have here, if we can get this dug out, and even if my friend, we use, like we did last time, he has a fifth wheel on his 4x4, and that's how we brought all this crush in here the other day, With did three loads with his truck and, and dump trailer. We brought a load or two more in here and just, like I said, 12 inches deep plus, and just fill this corner right in. So when that truck comes off of this, when those trucks come up off this road and come and get those wheels over in that area, it has somewhat of a base to set on. It's not going to be so quick to uh, move. Because right now we've only got about three or four inches, maybe at max three inches of dirt or of rock over that dirt. And it's, it's just simply not enough. It was fine when it was all frozen, but now with all this rain, everything is, is thawed. And now we've got an issue with just slop. It's one of the issues you don't want to be you don't want to be building in the winter time and I'm about two months away from when I should be should have been doing this. It should have been done back in the fall but alas that was the issue. Everything was held up and so we're behind and so here I am. It's a nice you know 55 60 degrees. It's been a little bit rainy today but it's a nice day for working if it would have been um, had everything where we had gravel in, I could be in the basement uh, spreading gravel. So that is one of the issues. Now, the major issue. The other issue is there's a water line here. And that main water line for this prop or for this uh, road looks like it's about four feet off the road, which means that water line is probably coming right up through here. So I had to call 811 this morning here in Tennessee. They're supposed to come out sometime in the next five days and mark this. Mark the water lines or any utility lines coming up through here because I don't want to be digging here with a track hoe or something and hit a water line. And so that's one of our other issues. You have to be careful because we don't want to crush something and break a water line when you're bringing in a, a truck off the road in this soft, on this soft ground. And so we've got to wait until they get this marked before we can do any digging. And once they get it marked, again, if we're, I don't know how deep these are. I think they're standard about two feet deep. I'm not exactly sure how far the line goes down. Um, but we've got to be very careful working around this area. And again, it's probably a lot of this is probably um, the water line is probably running right up through here, truth be told. But they're supposed to come and mark it out in blue and any other... Uh, lines that are supposed to be any other like the cable and all that so once we find that out I'll have a little bit more of you know appreciation for what I can do here but we have come to an absolute screeching halt uh, between the ice weather and now the just the dampness now middle of summer with this is all dry there wouldn't be a concern uh, as much of a concern I should say but not with the way this ground is holding moisture right now um, I agree with my friend who has the truck. Um, he, as soon as he'd sink out of sight there, he'd be there. In the worst case scenario, you know, dump a truck down there in that ditch. Uh, that would be just um, unacceptable and something I don't want to have any part of. So better fix it now because we've got a lot of gravel coming up in there. Uh, the back filling of the house, I wanted to use number three rock, which means it's going to take several loads. So. You know, we had originally thought, well, if we, I talked to my neighbor and maybe on his lower driveway, dumped it there and brought it up by buckets. Uh, but that would take forever, not to mention the amount of fuel and just running equipment, as opposed to getting it in there and just dumping it and pushing it around with the tractor. So I think I'm going to bite the bullet and do what has to be done here to get this driveway solidified to the point where we can get... Um, the uh, heavy trucks in here because there's got to be cement trucks and everything coming in now we've had I've had three cement trucks four cement trucks or so come in here 
um, between summer and winter and and they've been fine but um, that's where we're at so I apologize for not not posting much and main issue has been is just what are we doing with this driveway uh, to get equipment in and this is where we're at with this lower corner uh, my driveway is probably 30 plus feet across but it just tapers so much on, on each end. It tapers out and kind of has wings uh, going down the road and going up the road. And so we've even talked about, you know, can the truck pull up on the hill and back in this way? Um, this upper side is pretty solid. But the issue is, again, getting those trucks coming around. That's, a, that's quite a deep ditch right there. Trying to get that truck uh, to make that turn and get in here uh, without any problems. And so that's why... They have been talking so much about, you know, bringing them up and backing them in this way. <sighs> My friend assures me that one way or the other we'll get it in here. Uh, you're just kind of at the point now where you have to throw money at stuff to get stuff done. And, of course, when you're the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman and you're trying to do this on a budget, that's not always... That's easier said than done, so... Anyway, I appreciate you joining me. Sorry it wasn't an action video, more of an explanation video, but we're just kind of up against it here uh, with the weather the way it is. It's not like up home in, in Canada when the winter comes, everything freezes, and you can go almost anywhere with trucks, but not so much so here in eastern Tennessee. So, Anyway, I appreciate you joining me. If you would, please like and subscribe. Look, I understand there are people out there, I call them the haters. <clears throat> you know, you watch a video and you give it the thumbs down or whatever and I, that's your prerogative but uh, for those of you who are watching if you like what you're seeing please give it a thumbs up like to kind of outweigh those the, the ones I call the haters but uh, I'm just trying to get a house built and doing it is not as easy as what I originally planned especially with all of the groundwork here and being on a side hill but if I ever get it done it's going to be a nice house going to be a nice property but it's one of the one of the prices you pay when you're you buy an isolated property a little more isolated and, and it is nice to have the privacy but along with that comes some other problems as we're witnessing here so anyway until next time as always you have a great day